Angeles Lakers. For me to be on the base of 36, playing the game that I love to play, it's very blessed and very honored. Shout out to the King on his 36th birthday, now in his 18th season. Guys, I feel like we've been talking about it for the last couple weeks, but it's officially here. He's 36 years old in season 18. Big game, what has impressed you most about his ability to play at the highest level at this point? I don't know if I've ever seen a 36-year-old do what he has been able to do over time. You know, been in the finals, what, 10 times, 11 times. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm impressed with his commitment to his craft. You know, Kareem was like that. Kareem played 20 years, not a lot of injuries, ate well, yoga, all that stuff, took care of his body. And, you know, I was amazed at that. And to see LeBron year in and year out, you know, when, when people write him off and they say he's getting old, he just continued to prove to people that he's still the king. So, uh, and he does it, you know, at 36, he's, he's beating guys who are 21, 22, who are the future stars. We looked at Luka Doncic the other night, and LeBron was, was taking it to him. And it just amazes me that he still can do that, that he still can dunk the way he does and still have that explosiveness. And then, you know, it's just cool that he combines that with, you know, being awesome off the court, being conscious of his community. And it's just he's just an amazing guy. Yeah, you know, you pretty much said everything in a nutshell. For the guy to have so many haters, so many people doubting him and talking about him, it's like, I said, do you realize what you're doing? You're fueling this guy. Mm -hmm. Keep talking about him because he loves to go out and prove people wrong. And, and it's amazing that he's able to have the calmness because that's one of the reasons I really don't do social media because if someone says something about me, I got to go off on him. But did think about it. This dude has a platform that's larger than anybody's in this world almost. And he has so many people talking about him saying things. He just uses it to put it in that log, in that fire to feed him up. But I will say this about this guy. This guy is excellent at taking care of his body. And that's the main thing. You know, I, I think he probably took a book, out, a page out of the book for, for Kareem on how he take care of his body. Because I look back and when we play, we didn't take care of our body like no. these guys do. We drank a beer at halftime to yeah. put some fuel back in us. But these guys <laughs> are so conscious of their bodies. And the way this guy's playing, he could probably play for 10 more years. You know, yeah. it's funny because you both just touched on it. Greg Popovich just spoke to the media in San Antonio, and he said basically the same thing. He needs to, he deserves credit in regards to his commitment to excellence, mentally and physically, and for doing it over the course of the years that he has. I just want to take it one step further because you mentioned in this day and age of social media, you could easily crack, and yeah. he hasn't. I think understanding his role as a leader, and especially right now, short into offseason when it comes to the basketball, and not being able to kind of have that routine that athletes are such creatures of habit of, mm -hmm. guys are looking to him right now to lead, and you know you can count on him. Absolutely. You know, and, and he, he understands uh, what he's doing in sports, and he understands what he's, what he's doing, you know, uh, away from sports. You know, Bill Russell used to say, you know, basketball is what I do for a living. It's not who I am. And I see that in LeBron a lot. So his ability to lead on the court, and he does it by example. In the bubble, he was texting everybody, making sure that they were on point. And then when you hear his interviews, he's always speaking stuff into existence. You know, you never hear him going back, you know, being negative about something in the past. It's just what we're going to do or what we have to do. So those are all signs of a good athlete, a good leader, a good businessman. Uh, he just continues to show that year in and year out. Yeah, you know, I, w I will say, he throw a little shade every once in a while. Like, you know, <laughs> hey, I didn't get the MVP. I mean, a, a defensive player of the but year. But how he does but, it, though. Know, he, does he does it with class. so cool. But you know what? <laughs> and you, and you so can't cool. do that but sit back and smile at this guy because – you think about it. You think about all these great athletes, and it's just so many guys that had some type, some type of controversy. You can't really say anything that him as an individual has had any kind of controversy other than him not winning a championship when he was supposed to, you know, and all these type of things. But everything he does is, is, such, is, is professional, off the court, on the court. You know, the things that he does for his foundation, the things that he does for his community back in, in, in Akron, you know, you have to just, you know, stand up and applaud this guy. And for anybody ever to try to come out and say anything negative about him, it's just, you know, you not, what are you, where, what planet are you living on? Are you in Space Jam? A two that he's about to do or something like that? Hey, What's yeah, going that's on? coming out. You know, so this, this guy is this guy's simply amazing, man. I think I, he doesn't get enough credit. I love this guy. Which I, you know, before I yeah. let finish, you know, people always ask you, is there one guy you wish you would have played with? This is the only guy that I've come across that I wish I would have played with. Because you want to play with a guy that can make you better. 
And I watched these guys play, and I said, okay, I played with this guy, I played with this guy, but I wish I would have played with this guy because I know he would have made me a better player. You already won seven rings. Yeah, okay. Hey, How it's great. Hey, it's great. Hey, hey, you're greedy, it's man. Greedy. Hey, yeah, you are. Hey, <laughs> this way, if I would have won with LeBron, he probably wouldn't catch me. <laughs> wow. So what's next for the king besides catching Robert Ori? Uh, at the age of 36, he's a four-time NBA champion, four-time finals MVP, four-time NBA MVP, 13-time All-NBA first team, and a 16-time NBA All-Star. On Monday, LeBron spoke to the media about how special it is to play the game he loves on his birthday. I've been uh, very fortunate to play some games on my birthday, and, um, um, you know, uh, this will be a, another opportunity um, for me to play the game that I love and also just celebrate another year of existence. You know, coming from where I come from, you know, um, a lot of people don't even make it, you know, you know past 21. You know, so, um, you know, for me to be, um, you know, rounding the base to 36 and playing the game that I love to play and being with a great team and a great organization uh, with a great family, uh, great friends and support system, uh, it makes it uh, a lot uh, greater uh, than the alternative. So just very blessed and very honored. And, um, and um, I'm happy to be, like I said, doing what I love to do. So now we are going to celebrate LeBron's birthday the best way we know how with a top 10 of the Kings career with the Lakers. Rob number 10, LeBron's first game in the purple and gold. Remember this, gets the steal, hammers it down for his first points as a Laker. Then moments later, he rocks the room again. Hey, that's the thing about LeBron. That's his patented duck right there. Look at he puts it back for a little bit. It's almost like he posing in the air. And then this attacks, attacks. Say it again, number nine, big game logo, LeBron. That's what they called him. Game four versus Portland. Pulls up from downtown, drills it. Don't back up, because if you back up, look at that. They're like, where did he shoot that from? Way downtown. And it wasn't the first time, remember this, earlier on in the season? Similar shot. <laughs> I wish you could go back to the bench and show their bench, man. They were, the bench was like, did he just pull up from half court? Like, did he just, really? Man, this is not fair. <laughs> Why they call him <laughs> Logo LeBron. <laughs> Number eight. I feel like we've seen this over and over again. Poor Georgie Jang. Ugh. Yeah, when you wear uniforms like that, that's supposed to happen to you. <laughs> LeBron James, they gave him the lane and he took it. When he gets that shoulder past you, it's over. And that's what I'm talking about. 36 years old and still has that type of leaf and ability. You don't like that lime green? Number seven, some crazy dimes from one of the best passers of all time. We finally led the league in assists for the first time last season, Rob. Man, this is incredible for him to be able to have the vision and the ability to get the rock to people on point. You know, that's why I said playing with this guy has been great because you just got to keep your hands ready. Keep your hands ready, you get the rock. And you baby score like that. Bam! But I don't know if I can do all the handshakes, though. I, I, I'm not that coordinated. Number six. <laughs> big game. Another poster. This time, Josh Hart. Remember this one? Yeah, nice dime by Caruso between the legs. You know, trailing. Oh, oh. woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> woo! <laughs> nice. Always the trailers. The one that's always going to get the cupcakes. Nice pass by Caruso. LeBron, once again, demonstrating he can jump. Number five, take a listen. Turnover. Ahead of the pack is LeBron. Here he goes. Look out, LeBron! <laughs> oh, 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 showtime! Off the full court pass from Kuz, he did really? that. Really? You can show me in the back, back there watching in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, passing the great Mamba in Philly. 